So what is your expert opinion on this one? And what's your opinion on how Fnatic are doing in this tournament? Um, I think the grip is going to get this one out because uh, really, Riveri is one of the best players in this game. And uh, Frax has been playing really good as well in this tournament. Um, well, we, and then to the other question. Well, we've been playing pretty good. Um, we kind of raged Tech 9 in our second group stage game. Uh, Mint played really well, and if he's gonna keep playing like that, we're definitely gonna have a chance to win this. Right, so we are getting underway here as Dignitas start pushing through. And they're down to a 5 on 2 already. I think Mick said, Why is Tiddy Kersley black? <laughs> Oh, it was Blackman that said it was it. Raz shuts down. He's got, we'll go through the uh, roster in just a moment. It looks like the bomb is going to go in. Last man standing Explosive. It's Nico Kick. And he gets shut down. So that's the easy round to start with for Dignitas on the attack. So they chose to attack as well. So let's give you a roster rundown for Dignitas. We're going to have Raz, Blackman, Mick, Sko and Zenith for B-Grip. Not easy to pronounce these ones. Nico Kick. Iska. Kyochi, River, and Herbal. Tuck. Tuck. <laughs> Mikwe opens up the fragging, but grip down a man. Dignitas, uh, well. Sneeze. Dignitas are uh, in, in a spot of bother, actually. Yesterday, uh, the conflicting stories as to what Blackmane said, but, uh, well, Blackmane's going to miss all of those nice things. Finishes off the job on River. Blackmane said that um, basically after the match against someone, Blackman jumped up and said to Sko, your beep, why don't we just kick you? Yeah. Something along those lines. Now, Tiddick, if that was to happen in Fnatic, I mean, is that gonna, it, would that ever be like a positive thing? I mean, it, it, you, you can't honestly, having heard that, knowing that it was said in, in seriousness, do you believe that uh, didn't just stand any chance of uh, winning this with such internal conflicts? Um, but black man has always been a rager. He's never gonna change that, I think, unless something changes with his hair. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Sko is a great player. He's probably gonna think that he's like he's just gonna look past it and realize that black man was just in a rage mode and probably gonna forgive him pretty soon. And uh, he's probably gonna camp this match out again and play really good. Well, I mean, they, they said, I was speaking to them outside before this, they're all back in, uh, you know, friendly terms. They're all eating the ice creams together. They're all, uh, oh, my ham sandwich delivered. Get the hell out of there. I'm having that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they were all saying, yeah, we're all made up. We're all happy. If Black Mane rages, they're going to gag him. The whole team said that. So <laughs> so I think it's uh, they stood up against uh, with Sko, really. You know, cause I'm they, not sure you can do that. Black Mane's the only one consistently performing. Absolutely, he is. But when you're performing like that, yeah, great. But you're also a negative on the team when you're like that. So, you I know, this has been a one man is not a team. But it doesn't matter. You can go a long, long way back to the I-33 finals when Sko wasn't in the team. Yes, he was. Yes, um, he was. It was new in the team. And Black Mane was still top fragging. But it's his influence that we put attributed to winning that I-33 tournament. Black Mane or Sko? Sko. True, but Blackman still top fragging. You know, Blackman being angry now is no diff is is no different. He's still he's top fragging when he's angry, and other players aren't stepping up. He's top fragging when he's not angry, and other players aren't stepping up. So, you know, I I don't believe it's a negative uh, effect. I think the other players have to step it up, and you know that's how you do it. I mean, just so you know, it's four 0 in this game, and uh, B Grip haven't really showed up yet. Um, hence why we're waffling, discussing about Blackman. Um and I think you can. You know, some of it is uh, is a tough love uh, regime and motivating. Uh, it, it came out that uh, after uh, the MYM versus uh, Impact game this morning, um, Morg on the 12-11 round, with a lot of profanities in between, said, come on, step it up, stop throwing it away, and was really right on the shoulders of his team. And that was the round they in won. In the ears of the team as well. Yeah, that but was Sock the round Sockland they won. said, I'm so glad they went B at that last round, otherwise we wouldn't have won it. So that's that's another player thinking, you know, I'm going to have to win this for the team here. My point was more that, that you know, tough love that, Black, <laughs> that Moore gave MYM worked, potentially because of that or not, your choice. Uh, and Blackmane, perhaps his tough love, 
will uh, motivate Sko or uh, deliver from Sko. I don't know. Well, let's look at the frags right now. You can see that, well, Mick seems to be the top fragger at the moment. And uh, Sko fragging ahead of Blackmane. It's just all right now. But we are in early stages. We're down to a two and two. And this is where B Grip really wants to pick it up. And Dignitas being pegged as second favourites for this tournament in the odds on xlbet.com. They really have a lot to go because in terms of uh, solid teams at this event, they're definitely not one of them with some very strange results. They said they weren't really awake for that Lowland Lions game. It was the crack no of dawn. It was very early on. It ah. wasn't even that early. They played earlier at CDC. But Lowland Lions are not AEF. a bad team. They played earlier at AEF and CDC. That's very true, but they only had Okrana and... Uh, they played UF early on at CDC. Oh, at CDC, I'm thinking so. Oh, I was thinking AEF. Um, but, well, yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just using excuses to uh, tell themselves. 11 seconds on the bomb here. And he's actually getting in and defusing it. Will he allow him? Surely he won't. No, he won't. Just goes there. Picks him out. 5-0. to zero. And we can see the frags. That Sko is actually doing all right in this one. Black Mane is not. Yeah, it's early days. It's early days against an opponent who just aren't in the same league. As, uh, as Dignitas. If Dignitas drop more than four rounds on this, it's a failure. Um, those are the words of Tilly, not me. However, they did beat H2K this morning. They did beat H2K this morning, and I'm glad they didn't put money on H2K for that one. Uh, you question that result. But Tilly said earlier on that they weren't really taking it seriously. Was it you that was saying it? Someone was saying it. They weren't really taking it seriously. They are just rushing around, you know, bunch of people just charging in, randomly playing. They were playing like they were on a public server. What just happened? Dignitas surrendered a 5-2 lead into a 2-on-1. Last man standing is Kyochi, and he's downed 6-0. And, uh, well, in Tiddy's opinion, Dignitas is going to pick this one up relatively easy. Thank you. Um, I mean, looking at this one, let, let's talk broader because... With the greatest respect, perhaps we didn't, uh, you know, th there was this match is perhaps not uh, living up to potential expectations. <laughs> Talk broadly now. Uh, Tiddy, on the grand scheme of things in Call of Duty 4, what are the Americans doing that the Europeans aren't? Well, big question. Oof. Yeah, that's a great question. Well, as it seems, they are really taking it more slowly than other European teams in the, spot in the start of the, the matches, like really checking what their European team are doing before they actually start using the tactics. Um, it seems like they have a lot of different tactics than we do. Um, they don't really use tact nades that much. That's what I've seen anyway. Um, they just like, they just save them and nade whenever they know where they are. That's kind of good, but it's, I think it's more important to get the enterprise you can, ha you can get with tactical nades. Do you think that Pandemic were perhaps underestimated, certainly before AEF and certainly before this, because they were all seen as second best to EG? Yes, I really think. Um, probably because Pandemic never, ever went to European team, European land before, and EG did. EG played Explosive really well, but, and then everyone said that EG was the best team in America. So, put our way, yeah, that's yeah. probably why they were underestimated. Everyone went off the results of I-33, thought, well, they couldn't win there, so they're never going to win here. And nobody really researched them either. That was the same thing, whereas Pandemic came into this and they said, probably they, they're the team that spent the most time on a server in North America and probably, Ameri probably the UK, since in Europe it seems to be uncool. B Group are going to pick up their first round here, which is uh, a big point for them, but I don't think it's going to change the way of the game too much. But... Uh, but they did say, you know, they spend a lot of time in the server where a lot of the European time teams don't do it because it's not seen as cool, which I've never understood. I mean... There's a lot of cool things about online video gaming. Well, exactly. I mean, I've never Tidder seen the whole e-cool business of, oh, we don't practice technades because so we're cool. But, you know, if you go into a tournament and get raged, then <laughs> you're seriously uncool. You've been told, boys and girls, you have been told. <laughs> Man has spoken. Hey, man, brother. Woo! <laughs> Kyochi opens up with a set nade on to Sko. As, uh, Dignitas have had their lead cut to uh, five in this one. Mick has just watched someone hop across the screen. And uh, Dignitas down a man here. Their lead could be cut down to... Uh, could be cut down here quite significantly. Mick's going to have to get himself involved. And he's not going to. It's a four on one. B-grip up in this one. Zenith last man standing. 
as he makes his way through. He's got a lot of, he's got a lot to do. Found one, but position given away, and B grip on fire, picking up two rounds in a row. <laughs> sure, fire'd be the word, but certainly picking up the rounds. So does that mean Dignitas after gaining that six-nil advantage suddenly, you know, you hit that relax mode really as a gamer. You think, oh, this is easy, and you just the concentration slips. And maybe what's happening with MYM, I'm not too sure, but they don't seem to be able to close out games at the moment. They just, yeah, they're just not too sure what's going on with MYM at the moment. They have the potential, but don't seem to be living up to it. And Pandemic, as far as I can think, are the only team here that have been solid throughout. I don't think any team's not had a blip in at the moment, but uh, I can't, I can't, I'm hard pressed to think through all the groups that are going. Maybe Kovacrew. <laughs> yeah, they're certainly watching the streams, and if you are watching the streams, guys, get yourselves into hash quad V. Plenty of you in there. I know it's lunchtime on a Friday. Many of you are at work. And, but let's uh, face it, you've got nothing better to do. Yeah, well, well, I can see Chad Man. He's uh, he's watching it. He's still got the stream running. He hasn't got the sound go, but he can see the pictures, <laughs> which is <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> supposed to be working, Chad. Yeah, <laughs> supposed to be working. So Black Man with his scope. Lots been talked about him. Mick does shut down Koichi. Blackmane does work his way in towards Statue. Mick in support. Switches to the SMG. There's someone in the corner towards the baths. He does shut down Mick. It was River working his way through. And Blackmane shuts it down. 7-2 the scores now. Looking at the frags. Blackmane, bottom fragger. You know, I, link, uh, I, I liken Blackmane to Didier Drogba. <laughs> I mean, Drogba is a negative guy. He's, he's a nasty guy. But you can't take him out of that Chelsea lineup because he's, you know, he's they, they can't win without him. And so... I mean, perhaps that's that's your you like kidding. He's got long hair as well, so you're two for two on that fact. Um, Doesn't wear an Alice band though. Sometimes. <laughs> Joe stole it. And that is you know, that, that that comparison between sport, joking aside, sometimes your best players are your most temperamental. Your Cantonals, for example, are your most temperamental, and sometimes you just have to put up with that. In the words of uh, the great. Oliver Jester Aldridge, bloody artists. <laughs> B-Grip homing in on their third round. It's all on Mick. They've just picked up the bomb, did you A minute into this round. And Mick between a rock and a very, very hard place. They know exactly where he is. How they close him out when they know he's in spawn, I have no idea. They're going to allow him to take another frag with 40 seconds to go. Mick's got no ammo in either gun. As, uh, he darts back through. One on three now. This would be. Uh, he's got one to his right. They couldn't see. And Herbal picks it up. And uh, there we go. Round going to B Grip. Who right now, on the form side, having won three out of the last four rounds. And that's what you get for completely noob gamers that have no clue about football. He said Didier Drogba. It's a, as in the Chelsea Gab? forward. I have no idea who Darrow Gab is. I have not idea. Not idea. In the words of Didier Drogba, it's boss. So, oh, that double frag straight away there. Zenith does work his way through there. Blackman with a grenade on Herbal. That's going to even things up to three on three. Koichi and Nico kick shut down Mick. Combined now, but Zenith replies. Zenith gets shut down. And suddenly... Blackmane is in this all too familiar situation of being the last man standing for Dignitas. If B Grip can pull this back to a 7 5, it'd be quite impressive. A 7 3 down at the moment. Blackmane picking up the bomb. 50 seconds on the clock. What can he do in this 2 on 1? Looking at the frag wise, he's actually slowly picking himself up there. Still only got 6 frags out in this match. So maybe he's having a little bit of an emo session. Going, looking for the frag. We're going to go towards the bomb site. Oh, he just caught a glimpse there. Didn't land that frag, though. And he does the second time through the dumpster. See, that's the Americans again rubbing off on me. I would could normally call that bins. But the dumpster it is. Bomb planted. River the last man standing in a 1v1 against the very experienced Blackmane. And when you get in these situations, you've got to feel that you do have that confident situation. You've got to be confident as a player, but when you know you're up against such a big name, it kind of gets the nerves going a little bit, I just think. And River 
Go and look it. Black Man's got himself defensive situation. River hasn't gone for any fake defuse yet. He's just where is he going? Nice gentle stroll. He's actually left himself. He's he's run out of range. He can't get the bomb. What is he doing? I've no idea what River was playing at, but like we said, you get the nervous in those situations. But I think his mind's completely gone. <laughs> the bombs are B, yeah. <laughs> And Dignitas have dropped three rounds to this team. I mean, <laughs> blimey. Remember, Tiddy said dropping three rounds would be a catastrophe for Dignitas at the beginning of this match. Have you already done it? Save the bar. <laughs> Here we go. But Blackman won that round from a one on two, albeit with some help from the opposition. And that's why you can't turn him down. He did pick up that round for Dignitas, and he has just shut down River uh, in the middle there. Now looking for another one. Oh. Misses. Herbal takes it. Oh, well. There's someone dark past the wall. Zenith goes for it. Doesn't get it. Mick gets himself one back. Didn't test up by two. As they go on through. Raz will get himself one in as well. Didn't test up to uh, finish the job off. Three on one. Herbal's dropped Sko. Sorry, has been dropped by Sko. And Kyochi is the last man standing. In a moment we'll get to the thoughts of... Roskilde Ravens superstar Fryak. His uh, skill has just been picked off by Kyochi. Dignitas players running around like headless chickens in the middle of that road at the moment. And Kyochi is hungry. Gonna need to reload in a second now, but he'll still find the frag regardless. One on one. Kyochi versus Mick for the round. Kyochi's pulled this back from a three on one and has the scent of Dignitas star player Mick. Mick McMick. Mick. And Mick, though, will show him how it's done. Picks the frag up and wins the round. Now the thoughts of Ravens Fryek. Well, I mean, more importantly for Fryek, obviously he's super playing at the moment. Uh, you're sitting currently in second place ahead of Impact. Not too sure exactly if that table is completely correct yet because you did beat Impact. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're looking at possibly winner bracket here. Really uh, depends on the results. What we're happened pretty now. sure of winning bracket now because yeah? it's first in the, in the matches between the two teams, and then it's round afterwards. So we're pretty sure of our third place in uh, our group, which unbelievably means the impact, despite their first fantastic result against the Suba and almost beating MYM or getting the draw. Exactly. It, it looks like they're going to go through loser bracket, which is a little harsh, I find. Yeah, but. Stuff happens on land. It certainly does. So, uh, during this match, what do you think of B-Grip versus Dignitas? I mean, Dignitas, they've had their problems yesterday. We all saw it here in the arena. Yeah, um, do I you think they're going to pull through? would do much better than they've done here. But they're when we played them a few days ago, they played really good on strike. But <laughs> it might just be our defense that's really crap. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, our performance on strike yesterday was quite poor. We yeah, I played pretty well, but uh, Woomsy bottom fragged hard, and the our yeah, team like just two. couldn't ha handle A at all. So uh, we're gonna go talk about that map before uh, we go into playoffs. And what about uh, Hugo's map? Uh, Hugo mom says hi to Tosspot. <laughs> uh, yeah, what we did off air, we won't go into. So, Dignitas at the moment leading this as expected. River with a shot on Blackman there. Scope on scope. And he's working his way in. Sko and Zenith against River. He's got it all to do. He just wasn't quite sure where the bomb was at A. Let's see if he knows where it is at B. At, uh, oh, the other way around here. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's 10 3. Dignitas romping. It is 10 3, and, uh, well. This is looking uh, this is looking rather good for uh, Dignitas <laughs> as they look to finish off the job. And join Hash Quad V to uh, talk to uh, Sequence Lad. And he'll uh, update you on the latest joke. Zenith is going to get himself a frag onto Iska there. Four on five in favour of the Digimons. Someone mentioning the fact that the overlay is wrong. Well, yeah, that's what you get for when I'm sat waiting for the uh, 
my sandwich for half an hour. A Dosbot, a Dosbot takes over. I don't know why he. There we uh, go. Group D strike. Oh, you ordered Sam five minutes before the match. I will wait until afterwards because we're taking a break after this game. Scousers can't be trusted. <laughs> we steal players as well. Here we go. Five on three. Four on one. Mixed pack picks up the frag. Coyote's down. And Dignitas are two away from victory. This game that is, uh, well, you're slipping away from Big Rip. Three rounds they've picked up. They're not looking like they're going to uh, get anywhere near this one. And really, the golfing class between the two sides has been, uh, has been quite wide. Yeah, they're not really looking like the team that beat HDK either. They're looking... Maybe they've, uh, they're like rabbit in the headlights, I guess you could say at the moment. It's going to come through. Zenith just getting completely confident now. Dignitas starting to roll over them as Herbal gets shut down by Black Mane with that scope. Over at B. Smoke down there. Zenith completely confident to just lie in the open and wait for them to come around that corner. Raz also lined up. It's actually still quite disciplined play, really, from Dignitas, considering the score they're on. They're still holding the line completely. They're not uh, rushing into it. Maybe that is Sko's influence. We don't know. They're on a 5-on-2 advantage already. Blackmane does shut down Koyuchi. Suddenly the last man standing once again. He's River. I don't fancy his chances because Mick's there. It's 12-3. And at the moment, Dignitas are romping away with this one, Tosspot. Yeah, we've got a score update coming from Tidda. H2K have beaten... No. Asuba have beaten H2K. No, nope. no, they're not playing each other. Yeah. Super beaten Tanix. Oh, which quite. But that means impact go to the loser bracket now. Unfortunately for them. Unfortunately for George. Yeah, which means no money. Until unless they win it all. Hmm. Of course. Here we go on board with Iska. Grenades across. Coyote drops Sko. Black May comes in with another frag as they will dart through. Iska's got one. This could be the winning round for Dignitas. Three on three. Blackmain finds the grenade frag, drops Nico kick. Excuse me. Ica is going to come back. Oh dear. Grasmain is down. It is a two on two. How did this team beat H2K? No offense. Mick drops his It's all on River to save B grip here. They would potentially, if they lose this, they could find themselves fourth. If Reason Gaming are able to pick up the win. They have lost. It's 13-3. Forget the past 30 minutes of your life. They were inconsequential. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been on Quad V, brought to you in association with XLBet.com.